hey guys how are you so this is the second tutorial on a uh, sap 2000 and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can draw this truss and apply these loads okay so let me make uh, clear that this is not an appropriate process for designing a truss and uh, this tutorial is not meant for uh, teaching you how to design a truss but uh, this tutorial will be teaching you how you can uh, draw grid lines uh, using a different method as than that uh, taught in the tutorial one okay so open your uh, SAP program and go to file new model alright and click on uh, grid only okay click on ok and after that double click here at any grid point alternatively what you can do is that you can right click and click on edit grid data and click on modify so system and you will land up in the same dialog box alright so here is X grid data and earlier we did uh, grid data using the coordinates now we'll be doing the uh, grid data using the spacing right okay so uh, okay let me show you the diagram so this is grid A this B this C D and this grid E so the spacing between grid A and grid B is 3 meter right in the X direction alright so this is the X direction this is the Y and this is the Z direction okay so in the X grid data distance between A and B is how much it's 3 meters so we put this here 3 and the unit is meter okay so after that uh, distance between B and C grid is 2 meters and distance between C and D grid is 2 meters and D and E grid is 3 meters and let me see so D and E is 3 meters and the distance between E and E grid is 0 that is the, the, the final distance right over here is 0 so you uh, this 0 uh, grid is mandatory okay so you always have to put uh, the final zero uh, while using uh, spacing as a method of entering the grid data so there is no grid in the y direction and there is uh, there is a grid in the z direction let me show you okay so there is grid one and this is the second grid the distance between these two grids uh, let us take uh, five meter as an example okay so we put five meter over here and one zero right and delete the rest okay and we click on okay okay all right so uh, we are in the xy plane right over here and we go to xg plane so this is how it looks now we go to draw draw frame cable tendon or we can click over here okay so after that we draw our truss like this like this like this like this and this 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 so now you're stuck here uh, all you have to do is there uh, click on the right mouse button okay so and you can again begin so there is yet another option quick draw frame cable if you click it and uh, all you need to do is that just click on the grid lines and your uh, diagram is ready okay so this is the model of the truss and uh, yet another one uh, you have to do so you have to go there and you have to join this this okay so right click okay so uh, so uh, we have uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, I got I got this extra okay so this is ready now I have to apply uh, what kind of support so hinge support here and roller support here so I, I click here and I go to assign joint restraints and click on hinge and click on apply so hinge is ready click on here click on roller and click on apply and click on ok so now I have to apply the loads right so loads are 5 kilo newton 10 kilo newton and 5 kilo newton okay so click on this joint and click on the sign and click on joint load forces 
uh, force in the global z direction so uh, uh, sap takes uh, upward z as positive as the load is in the downward direction we have to do is minus 5 right kilo newton okay so replace existing load click on apply and click on okay now we select uh, with this joint and click on assign click on joint loads forces and click on 10 and apply and click here and click on 5 apply now click OK OK so we have applied the loads now all we need to do is that run this model right OK we run it let's save let's name it truss Okay, so this is the deformed shape of the truss after the application of the load. As you can see, this is the zero force member and it doesn't undergo any kind of deformation. So if we start the animation, yeah, so you can see the roller support is moving while the hinge support is uh, fixed. Okay, so we stop the animation and we go to display. So force is stress, frame cable tendons, and click on axial force show values and click apply so this is the axial force uh, diagram all right click ok and so this is how you can see uh, if you you know just uh, right click over this member and you can see the maximum axial force is 20.59 kN and uh, if you want to uh, see uh, axial force value at the different location you can click on scroll for values and go on uh, you know for uh, looking for the uh, value all right so alternatively you can put the location right over here and now uh, we're gonna see uh, everything what uh, these mean in our next uh, lectures so unit is kilo newton meter all right so this is uh, uh, how you you know draw grid using spacing and this is how you apply the joint loads hope this video was helpful if it was hit like and subscribe for more awesome videos Thank you.